Good morning, friends, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to share a little day in the life. It is a beautiful morning at 5.30. I don't always get up at 5.30, but this particular morning, I was up early and I wanted to get a nice mask on and go and respond to lots of comments in my past couple videos. If you're new here, my name is Lauren Nicholson. I love to do all things homemaking, and I'd love it if you would subscribe to my channel. And if you're returning, it is so great to see you. Okay, guys, let's jump into today's video. So as I've mentioned in my past couple of videos, things at work have been really intense recently and I feel like I needed a little extra self-care this particular morning. So I decided to put on my typology mask. I, lo I love their turmeric one. I've shared it many times on my channel. So I'm going to just slap that on and then I decided to spend the first couple hours of my morning responding to comments. I always try to get to them, but lately you guys, it's been very difficult for me. So I appreciate you hanging in there. I just loved all of the comments about um, memories of when you experience really outstanding um, hospitality. So thank you for sharing all that with me. I shared a lot of it with my team as well. Um, if you are new here, I am currently the GM of a winery. I also consult for another winery and I also have my YouTube channel. So those consist of three um, things that take up quite a bit of my time, but I'm also a mom to four kids and I'm working on all kinds of other partnerships right now. So it's just been a very, very busy couple of months, but things feel like they're starting to calm down. I love that Tuna wanted to come and sniff my mask and give me all the lovies. She's such a sweet cat. I love her so much. I know she's not supposed to be on the table, but it's very rare that she gives me all the attention. So I'm going to take it. Um, after this, I need to go upstairs, get the kids ready for school school and then I will go ahead and start my morning routine for my self-care which consists of my Dermaclara patches and um, a really nice lotion to put on afterwards. I love serums. I love all those things. I'm currently using um, pretty much all typology. They're all of oil mask. Isn't it so funny how Tuna's got half her body on the chair and half on the table? It is now 8.05 and it's time to wash my face and throw on my Dermaclara patches while I curl my hair. I have shared Dermaclara on my channel many times, but they are an incredible company that is on a mission to bring quality medical grade silicone patches to everyone at affordable prices. They are super easy to use. All you have to do is wash your face, pat it dry. You can apply. I like to use their forehead, under eye, around the mouth and neck patches. Leave them on for about 10 to 15 minutes, peel them off, and then follow your other beauty routine. I, I like to add them to my skin while I'm curling my hair just because it's 15 minutes of downtime anyway. Then to remove them, all you have to do is pull your skin just a little bit tight and peel them off. It's very simple. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and wash them with the patch prep and reuse them up to 30 times. I absolutely love this product. It's 100% medical grade silicone and all it does is promotes collagen and brings moisture to the skin naturally. It has been a wonderful game changer for me and is a go-to for my beauty regimen at least twice a week. If you guys want to check it out, Dermaclara is offering us 30% off plus an additional 20% off. That's 50% off and free shipping for both new and existing customers by using the code Nicholson. So if you're like me and you are looking for a clinically proven solution for all of those wrinkles as we are aging beautifully and gracefully, definitely check out Dermaclara. I really also love that when I put this product on my skin, it is not being absorbed into my skin. It's actually naturally helping me work on wrinkles rather than like filling them in or putting on on a synthetic material that is going to be absorbed into my skin. It's a very healthy solution. So if you guys want to check it out, I highly recommend it. I am going to be 40 in August. I can't wait and I'm not going to be wrinkly on my birthday. Thank you to Dermaclara for sponsoring today's video. Let's go ahead and make the bed and get on with our morning routine. Before I head out to work, I wanted to make the bed real quick. I have to say this was, I think one of the last, knock on wood, the last rainy days. It started out beautifully, but then later in the day, it started to rain a bit. Um, so I wanted to get a bunch of things put away outside. So I was kind of in, I would say leisure wear, and then I was gonna try to go to the gym. I did not end up going to the gym this day. I've had gym on my to-do list for I feel like weeks, and every single day something takes that kind of block schedule. I don't know if you guys 
I think I've shared it on this channel before, like a how I block schedule, but every single day I block schedule based on tasks, meetings, and things I have going on. And if something else pops up, those kind of leisure things like morning routines and making the bed and going to the gym um, will get filled up by other meetings and whatnot. I do always have AG1 every morning. I like to add a little electrolytes. They're always linked down below. It is my favorite. It has pre and probiotics. I did find a really great tea recently that has pre and probiotics. It's called Half Day. Um, I love the peach. I get it at Whole Foods. I'll share in an upcoming video, but really keeps my body like healthy and regular and all those things is very important. I love AG1. So this is my drive to work, not a bad view. Um, I'm going to head into work and then I'll see you guys at home. It's going to start raining and we need to make a cozy meal. There's nothing I love more than when I get home from work, the kids are settling down, and I like to light a candle and turn on some very calming music. I um, usually, we have Sonos, so I usually just put on something calming for my phone and love on Tuna if she'll allow it, which is super rare. She is not the most lovingest cat, I have to tell you. But anyway, after that, I like to kind of clean up. This particular morning, I did not have time to do some of the dishes and the after school snacks, so I'm just gonna clean that up. And then I like to prep dinner. Um, we did recently just hire somebody to um, do homework with the kids every single day and she's also going to tutor them through the summer. Um, last year we were hit hard with the summer slide and it took me a minute to get the kids back up to speed. This summer I don't want to do that so we did hire somebody that will work with the kids every single day, well Monday through Friday, and then after school she'll work with them for a couple hours on homework. I should have done this earlier in the season but as things have gotten a lot more hectic in my work life it has been really difficult for me to slow down especially when it comes to some of these larger projects and math. I don't like math, even though I'm very good at it. I just, the common core math, I just can't seem to understand it. Um, it's just not the way my brain works. So anyway, that has been very helpful. And then I did just sign up to have Homa Glow clean the house every single Saturday um, to do a deep clean. That way uh, it's just one less thing I really have to worry about on Saturdays. So we've been doing a lot more family stuff on the weekend. And the other thing that's really great about having somebody do the kids' homework is I don't have to fight with them as much and they don't seem like as adverse to doing the work where when I sit down with them and say, hey, we need to do, do this and do that, they just fight with me versus when they're... Um, when their tutor comes, they are so more like amenable and focused and it just seems to be a really great fit for us. Um, so I'm very thankful for that. So kids are outside playing in the rain. I am going to make um, a really healthy dish tonight. I'm going to be roasting some uh, broccoli. The one thing with broccoli, I know I do cook it a lot, but it's the only green that my kids, well that and asparagus that my kids will absolutely eat. I don't know how I got so blessed, but all of them like broccoli and all of them like asparagus. I'm also going to um, clean some strawberries and then we're going to get to work. My husband is at home and I wanted to actually get a couple of things done that I didn't get done at the office. So he and I are going to tag in, tag out. He is going to make dinner. I'll show you at the end of this video. And I'm actually going to, um, go and sit at the dining room table, which I love, and get some work done.
I keep resetting this area over here and I just decided I'm going to take it down. We're going to redo this. I, um, I just finished the bookshelf last night and it will be in an upcoming video if I haven't already posted it, but I am so excited. This whole room has transformed since putting that up. Um, so I'm really excited to share that with you. So uh, typically um, when, so if I have a block schedule of the day, usually between 8.30 and three, I'm up at the winery um, and then I pick the kids up. I try to um, just focus on the kids and dinner and then I will flip into nighttime routine and then I do my YouTube at night. So. This particular day, I needed to catch up on some things for the winery I'm consulting for right now, and then it's time to eat dinner because I'm starving. Okay, I'm gonna take a little work break. My husband's making dinner. Broccoli looks delish, pasta. He made a little Alfredo sauce and some veggies, so we're gonna eat. I am so excited, it smells so good. And then I will see you guys in a little bit. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I ended up eating dinner with the kids and then I worked upstairs for the remainder of the evening so um, I could get all of this stuff done. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I have so much more coming up. Um, I am in the process of building a relaxation room um, and so many other things. So definitely hit the subscribe button if you wanna check that out and I will see you in the next video real soon. Bye.